this is me and today I'll be doing a video on everything I'll be taking to Pony Club Camp and this video is only part one as well because I will be doing a second video on everything I'll be taking for the horse because this video is everything I'll be taking for myself or the rider so let's get into the video. This is the case I'll be using, it's from the company Trip and the size of it is just a little bit bigger than the luggage carry-on ones that you get at the airport. Every year I've been to camp I've taken it with me and it fits absolutely perfectly under the bunk beds that we'll be staying in. It's really nice having like a hard case rather than like a soft bag. If it does rain and you have wet clothes or muddy clothes or things like that, it's just a lot more practical. Instead of bringing little bottles of toiletries, this year I've actually got this big package thing which comes with lots of bottles which I can put my chosen shampoo or shower gel in which I'm really excited about and this whole set only cost me £1 from Primark so that's so good and I love the little labels so I don't think I'll be putting things like toner or eye makeup remover in here just because I won't be really wearing makeup at camp. So I've now put everything in a bottle. The one that says moisturiser is actually sun cream just in case it's sunny I don't want to get sunburnt on my face. And the one that says cleanser is actually face wash and they've actually sort of turned out ombre. The reason is because the shampoo I've recently finished and then the shower gel, as I was putting them in, I completely finished both these so they're now completely empty and I didn't have any more of the same shampoo or shower gel left so I filled it up with some others. So that's why those two are ombre and then the cleanser I sort of made ombre because I have like a blue face wash and a clear one so I mix them together so they're all ombre which looks so cool. So I'm just using this clear plastic bag which would be really good just for taking out when I go to the showers and everything and then I'll just put this little bag inside my wash bag. This isn't a necessity but I really like to bring a bar of soap with me in this little portable soap dish which I got from Superdrug a couple years ago and the reason why is because at the place where we're staying at there isn't really any hand soap and it's just nice to be able to wash your hands with like proper soap rather than for example like face wash or shampoo or something like that. The hairbrush I'll be taking is just this tangle teaser and I feel like because I have curly hair I literally cannot use any other hairbrush without like my head dying because my hair is so knotty. I also have some hair bubbles and a hairnet because at my pony club whenever you're riding it's compulsory to wear a hairnet so I've just got this blonde one and then I also have a grey scrunchie, a navy scrunchie and my pony club scrunchie and just a couple hair bubbles as well. And this might seem strange if you're from a different country but it's quite common quite a few people wear scrunchies with their hairnet and I always do this because whenever I put my hair up in a hairnet the bit like around the edge of the hairnet always looks so messy so the scrunchie just covers it up and it works really well. A good way to make sure I don't lose anything is I use the hair bands to wrap around the scrunchies and then wrap my hairnet around the scrunchies so that nothing gets lost and it's all compact. Now this is everything that I'll be taking makeup wise and I know it's Pony Club Camp it's not like a fashion show and everything and the majority of the time I literally don't wear makeup or anything like that but there is one night at my camp where there's sort of like a photo shoot and everything and you have photos with your team and so I just have some like glitter here which I think will be so cool. Have some bits and bobs of makeup because there is also a photo booth where you can have photos taken and everyone sort of dolls up a little bit for that so I think that would be really cool. My everyday foundation is actually from the Body Shop which might seem a bit weird because all of the Body Shop um, products are cruelty free and at the moment I'm sort of converting all my makeup so I'm using it all up and only buying cruelty free makeup. And then I just have this powder and a brush for applying it and I also have some lip balm and this is such a good thing to have yeah definitely bring some lip solve because your lips do get really dry at camp so that's really good to have and then I just have some concealer um, just in case I have any problem areas and then I have some mascara it's literally empty it's just like a brush that I use sometimes to just brush them out in the morning if they're a bit like all over the place and then I just have this MUA sort of eyeshadow palette just in case I need it because it's really thin and it will just like easily fit in but I'll just put everything in there because it will fit really easily and there's literally not really that much here and if it fits in my bag then I might as well take it because that's sort of my motto for bringing stuff to camp if you have the room for it then take it as long as your bag's not too heavy because you're not like lugging it around at all and it literally all fits completely perfectly in my little bag here 
And then I just have some simple face wipes, which I use for removing makeup if I do wear any at all. They're just really useful to have like some face wipes or baby wipes, just because if you do get sweaty, it's just so nice to just like cool off and just like wipe it on your face. And obviously at camp, you're gonna get quite stinky. So I've just got some, a little mini deodorant and a little mini body spray, which I'll take with me. I don't have like an aerosol just in case the fire alarm does go off because at my first year at camp, the fire alarm went off in the middle of the night and apparently it came from our room so I don't want to cause any fire alarms going off again even though I didn't do anything I was I was like asleep in the middle of the night so and then the last things I'll be taking is just this toothpaste and toothbrush I don't have like a specific toothpaste that I use I always change up depending on which ones are on sale to be honest this was the toothpaste which was most empty so that's why I'm taking it and this is the wash bag I'll be using. It's really cute because it has little different places of the world on it. And everything fits in there absolutely perfectly. Now if you can, it's really good to be able to fit everything in one wash bag rather than taking two. Just because it's a lot easier just to have everything in one place. So I've just laid out all my clothes and I've put them in order of what day I'm going to wear them. Now if you can, I would definitely recommend trying to have at least one pair of jodhpurs or breeches to wear each day. Just because they get so dirty and filthy and it's just so nice to have a new pair each day. My camp, you have a half day on the Monday so that's why I only have one top for the Monday. And the reason why I have two tops for some days is because in the morning or in the afternoon depending on what I have, I'll probably have show jumping, so I like to wear a long sleeve for show jumping. Then if we're doing flat work or dressage, I'll wear a short sleeve. Just because in my pony club, you have to have a long sleeve top if you're doing show jumping or cross country. So that's why. And I just find I get so hot in long sleeve tops, so that's why I've got a few extra spare at the top. In my pony club, it's quite strict on rules on what you can wear for camp. Luckily, compared to junior camp, where you have to wear beige breeches or jumpers all week. At senior camp they allow you to wear navy, black or brown ones. I've also got all my socks out and the reason why my pink top and my blue top here aren't like neutral colours or pony club colours because you're allowed to wear green or like navy or grey and things like that. So they were my camp t-shirts from the last two years so I was in the pink team and the blue team so that's why I can wear them because they're from last year's camp. At the moment this is how I've got all my clothes. I don't know if I'm going to like exactly wear like for example I don't know if I'll exactly wear um, the green stuff on the Tuesday but it depends what day I have cross country really because when I do cross country I'd prefer to wear for example my long sleeve sort of skin rather than my sort of cottony top just because I find I get a lot hotter in the more cotton top than my cross country sort of long sleeve ones so I've just folded them up into piles so I'll show you what I'm gonna wear each day so I have a spare pair of clothes for each day my camp is from Monday well Monday sort of half a day you only ride in the afternoon on the Monday on the Saturday you only ride in the morning for the presentation with your group I don't know what I'll be wearing yet on the Saturday because usually on the Saturday people go in fancy dress or bright colors because it is sort of like a big presentation thing so I'll probably just wear like similar things to what I wear on the Monday but with like a different top or something like that. Now this might seem like quite a lot of clothes but if I'm being honest with you at camp you get so dirty you get so sweaty and it's just so nice to put on a fresh pair of clothes each day so if you can fit it in or you have like enough clothes to take with you then that's really good. If you have like a parent or grandparent that's helping out at camp for example my mum's helping out with the food on a couple of the days they can always take some of your clothes back home and wash them and bring them back in on another day that they're coming in or anything like that now these are the casual clothes that i'll be bringing to camp i just have a mint green top a grey top some grey jeans blue jeans and then just some shorts in case it does get really hot in the evenings but usually when we do the evening activities i'll wear jeans because it does get a bit cool in the evenings and then I've got a couple of jumpers. I have my pony club one, which has so many badges on. I'm not even kidding. I don't think there's any room for any more badges because I have been in the pony club since I was eight or nine. So I do have quite a few. And then I just have this pink sort of sweatshirt. Like I feel like everyone should have one, but this jumper is, I call it like my evening jumper because I wear it all the time. And like instead of a dressing gown, just cause it's so comfy. And I wore this all the time when I was revising for my GCSEs. And then I just have my Hickstead hoodie here which I got when I competed at Hickstead last year with the pony club. It is quite hot at camp like usually because it's in the 
summer and everything but what people don't know is it does get quite chilly in the evening especially when you're doing evening checks and you're putting your horses to bed in the evening and if you're like camping it's also quite nice to like layer up if it does get cold luckily at my pony club we're in like a lodge so we're indoors in like bunk beds and it does get really hot especially if you're in the top bunk and then for my pajamas i just have this plain gray orlando top that my friend got me when they went to florida and i've actually been to florida i just didn't get it when i went and then i just have some mint green shorts which i'll probably wear when i'm actually asleep like in our bunk bed because it does get very hot as i've said and then i just have some pajama bottoms i'll probably wear my pajama bottoms or just some black leggings when I go down to the yard to do evening checks or I don't know if it's just me but literally like over half of my pajamas are all just like normal clothes which I've sort of made into pajamas now this might sound really really weird but the one thing, especially if you're going to the same camp as me, taking some flip flops or sliders or something is really, really essential because it's just so nice to wear them, especially when you go to the bathroom or if like in the middle of the night or the evening if the floor's wet and you don't want to like put on your boots or do up some like trainers and like with laces and things. They're just so easy to slip on and just quickly pop down to the toilets. These ones are literally just some really cheap ones from Primark, so I don't really mind taking them to camp if they get destroyed or anything. And then for my evening shoes, I just have some trainers which are really really good especially in the evening activities because you don't want to slip on the ground or anything if it does get a bit wet or slippery and things like that and then I just have some mint green vans and these are actually quite they're a little bit small for me and they're quite old I also like to bring a sun hat with me because then after I've been riding I can put it on and nobody can see my horrible sweaty hat hair and also if it's really sunny it'll protect you from the sun so you won't get burnt I'll also be taking my raincoat in case it rains. This one's just a plain black one and it does have a removable hood so that's good because I don't know if you're allowed to ride with a hood or not for Pony Club. If not you might have to have the hood tucked in. And then I just have like a plain notepad and pen just for when we do stable management for writing down bits and bobs that we learn. So everyone at my camp is supposed to bring in some sort of cake or biscuits. I just have some Kit Kats here at the moment. I'll probably get something before I actually go next week. Or I might even make a cake or something. So I think my mum did buy these to give to the builders. And I'll also be bringing a bottle of water with me. I'll probably keep one at the yard and one up at the lodge. So then I can have a drink in the middle of the night if I do get thirsty. And then when I'm down there at the yard after I've ridden I can have a drink as well. So at my camp because we're in bunk beds and we're staying in sort of a lodge. We have to take our own bedding quite a lot of people that go to my pony club for their first senior camp they don't realize this or they don't realize that they have to bring an under sheet for their bedding as well some people just take like a sleeping bag or something it's a lot more comfortable to take an actual like pillow and duvet and everything so I definitely recommend that so my duvet is just this plain white one with some sort of flowers and as you can see it's quite old and tatty now as it has been washed many times before but I actually quite like just having like a plain white one just because at camp you do get marked on how neat your bedding is and everything in the mornings once you've made your bed also if you do like drop something and you don't know where it's gone it's a lot easier to find it as well and of course you'll have to bring your own pillow the most important thing is the undersheet to go on your bed on your mattress just because at my camp some people have forgotten it and they've had to like sleep on the mattress where other people have slept on and it's not even like a nice mattress because the mattress is made of plastic so it's just not very nice so it's so good to bring your own bedding and everything because there isn't any provided and of course you'll need to bring a towel with you for when you have a shower and everything and I have a flannel for washing my face as well in the mornings and if your camp does have a swimming pool, then bring a swimming costume or bikini or something. But unfortunately, my camp doesn't have a swimming pool, but they do have one at junior camp, just not senior camps. And then, believe it or not, all of my bedding actually fits in this big Ariat bag. So if you have a little look inside, it actually all fits believe it or not and I have a little space there to put my cutlery later. Another really important thing you need to take to camp is cutlery. Mine actually is in the colour blue just so I don't lose mine and it's really easy to see. You also need a cup of some kind. It's a lot better to take plastic ones just so then when you're washing up it doesn't break or smash. And then I just have a metal mug which I use in the evenings when we have our hot chocolate just after we've come back from the yard to do evening checks. 
I also have a bowl which I'll be using for in the mornings if I have cereal or in the evenings when we have pudding. And I actually have two plates, so you don't really have to have two but I find it a lot easier and again it's a lot better to have plastic ones. Now if you're in my pony club you want to be able to have your cutlery really easily accessible when you first arrive because when you get up to the lodge where the canteen is and everything you're going to want to get your cutlery out so you can actually eat your lunch if not you'll be like rummaging through your suitcase and everything forever trying to find it. So I've just put everything in this plastic bag which I'll then put inside the other big bag where all my bedding is. Now this isn't really an essential and it's not on the camp list but for me this year I'm actually taking some iced coffee. The reason why I'm taking these is because last year at camp I was knackered, I was so tired. So hopefully these have got caffeine in so I'll probably have one at lunch just to pick me up again for the afternoon's ride. So hopefully these will give me a bit more energy and I won't be as tired. Now, because it's Pony Club, you will need to take your Pony Club hacking jacket or show jacket. However, personally, at all the camps I've been to for senior, I've never had to wear them. However, I have had to wear them at junior camp for the like award ceremony. So if I do need to wear my hacking jacket, I'll have to wear my Pony Club tie. And if you're wondering what these little brooches are on here, the top brooch I have is the brooch that I got when I joined the Pony Club and the pink felt means that I've passed my C plus test. I also have um, this brooch which I got when I did my road rider test, which you have to do before you do your C or C plus test. And I also have my bronze yellow badge up here, which is for the Young Equestrian Leaders Award. And I'd like to make a video on that, explaining how I do it and everything like that. Though I have completed my silver now, so my silver brooch should be coming in the post sometime soon. I'll also be bringing some gloves with me. These are by the brand Rockiel, and they're actually really nice gloves, though I only wear them when competing or for pony club, as they are quite nice gloves. I have two pairs, one in navy and then one in black. Now one of the most important things that you'll need to make sure that you have is your helmet because with the pony club they won't let you ride unless you have a helmet on. If you're doing cross country then you'll have to have a skull cap, so one which doesn't have a fixed peak so it has a removable hat silk. You'll also need to make sure that it applies with the pony club standards so some hats weren't allowed and they had to be like the newer model of them. And you'll also have to make sure that it is certified um, with the pony club standards and you know where to find the little flap thing on the side because if your hat isn't tagged like mine isn't tagged at the moment because this helmet is recently new and I haven't taken it to camp before so I'll have to get that tagged when I first arrive so it's good to know if you do need to get your helmet tagged where the like efficiency information is and then for my helmet I have two hat silks one in navy and one in black and if you're doing cross country you'll need your medical armband. I just have mine inside out at the moment so you can't see any of my personal information. And again if you're doing cross country you'll have to have a body protector. You'll have to make sure that it's up to the pony club standards. My body protector is, however last year I had to actually buy this body protector because my old one was out of date. Even though it worked perfectly fine as a body protector, it just wasn't up to the Pony Club's new standards because it was an older model. Make sure that you have your helmet and body protector easily accessible when you first arrive because you'll have to have your body protector and helmet checked when you first get there. The information about helmets and body protectors and what standards they need to be up to should be on your Pony Club website or on your Pony Club camp list. Now you don't have to have one of these but this is my two point air jacket which I use for cross country because I am jumping sort of bigger fences. It's basically a body protector but it doesn't feel like you have one on until you fall off and it inflates, it reduces the impact when you fall off. You don't like have to have one to go to camp or anything. I will also be bringing my riding boots. These are just some jodhpur boots. I won't be using these for riding in because I'll be riding in my tall boots. But these boots I'll just be using for when doing like yard jobs or mucking out. They are now very old and very worn and as you can see I've got a little hole in them here. So I really don't mind like mucking out and stuff in them. Just because at camp you do get quite hot so I don't think I'll wear my wellies for like mucking out. And I'll also have my tall boots for riding in. As well as my bike which I'll need for riding from the yard up to the lodge and back again. So everything is now packed. So here I have my wash bag, my two hoodies, um, my evening clothes are under my shorts here, then just my trainers, um, just my notebook again, then under that I have my pyjamas, and then under here 
I have all my socks and I just have some trainer socks for the evening and then I also put bras and pants in there. So here I have each sort of day in like a pile so for the outfits that I'll be wearing and then under here I have my jumper and if I lift out my jumper I just have another outfit here and then some evening tops and my sliders. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and because every pony club is different there might be some things that you might not need to take or some more things that you might need to take. So comment down below anything different to your camp that you would take or you wouldn't take and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!